So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a topographic witness index using RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So let me explain about what is topographic witness index. So a TWI is also known as a compound uh, topographic index is a hydrological uh, indicator used to assess the spatial distribution of the soil moisture and the areas prone to the water accumulation. It integrates the topographic features of uh, landscape such as slope and upstream contributing areas to model how the water flows and accumulates over terrain. So this is a formula to calculate the topographic witness index. So uh, TWI equals to the natural log uh, flow accumulation divided by the tan of uh, tan slope. So the flow accumulation represents the upslope area contributing to the water to a uh, a specific point it is derived from a digital elevation model and reflects the the water collection potential the slope uh, reflects the steepness of the terrain the steeper the slope uh, leads to a faster water runoff whereas the flatter slope uh, retains the water longer so now in the table of content section uh, you can able to visualize this is our dem data that is our digital elevation model so for this specific study region so the study region has an, a minimum elevation of around 94 meters and to a maximum elevation of around 264 meters which is indicated in the value range of this dim data here so now let's get started so first we're going to navigate to this option called analysis and in that we're going to click this option called tools so once you did that a window pop up saying geoprocessing and navigate to this option called toolboxes so you can uh, able to visualize the different tool that is available in rgis pro so now we'll navigate to this tool called Spatial Analysis Tool. So we're going to click this tool called Spatial Analysis Tool. And in that, we're going to navigate to this option called, of this tool called Hydrology. And uh, we're going to click this tool called Fill. So once you did that, it's going to load our Fill tool here in the Geoprocessing window. So now in the parameters, uh, we have this Input Surface Raster. So we're going to navigate to this arrow button. I'm going to click this and select my dem file. So once you selected your input surface raster, choose your output uh, location where you could like to store this uh, raster. So I'm going to click this option called browse. So uh, I could like to save uh, my folder location. So now I have navigated to my folder location. So I'm going to save my uh, file in this location. So now I have entered the name as fill.tiff. I'm going to click save. And uh, you can also see the details about this tool here. So fill uh, sinks in a surface raster to remove the small imperfections in the data. So uh, next, uh, we're going to leave the rest as the uh, default. So now navigate this option called run and click run. So the tool is currently running here. You can able to see that. So now the fill tool has ran, so you can able to see. So let me turn off this particular dem file here. So currently we are visualizing the fill. So the next tool we're going to navigate is the flow direction. So I'm going to click this tool called flow direction. So in the parameter section, I'm going to input so in the input surface raster. So now in the input surface raster, I'm going to select this particular uh, raster fill dot tiff and uh, choose the output file location where I would like to save this uh, flow accumulate flow direction raster. So I'm going to enter the name as the flow direction. So now I have entered a flow direction dot I'm going to click save and uh, now navigate this option called flow direction types. So we have uh, three different flow direction types. So I'm going to select D8. So you can also see the details about this particular uh, selection flow direction type. So D8 assigns the flow direction based on the D8 flow method. This method aligns the flow direction to a steepest downslope neighbor. And this is the default uh, direction flow direction type. So you can also take other methods. So now I've selected the flow direction type to be D8. And now leave the rest as default and I'm going to navigate to this option, click run. So now we have our flow direction raster completed here. So you can able to see. So now in our next step, uh, we're going to calculate the flow accumulation. So I'm going to navigate to this option called flow accumulation. I'm going to click this. So now we have our flow accumulation in parameter uh, input flow direction raster. So we're going to insert the flow direction raster. So we're going to click flow direction raster dot tiff. 
And now choose your output uh, file location where you would like to save your flow accumulation raster. So I'm going to click browse and I'm going to save as a flow accumulation. So now I'm going to click uh, save. And uh, next uh, we're going to select the output data type. So we have uh, three different data types, float, integer and double. So I'm going to select float data type. So you can also go through the details about this uh, data type here. So by selecting the float data type, the output raster will be a floating point uh, type. So select it as a float. So now the input flow, input uh, flow direction, uh, I'm going to select as a D8. And now I'm going to click this option called run. So the flow accumulation raster has generated. So we can able to see here the flow accumulation completed. So now we have our flow accumulation raster. So now we have managed to create a flow accumulation raster. Let me get back to our formula. So in the formula, we have the TWY equals to the natural log uh, flow accumulation divided by the tan slope. So now we have managed to found the flow accumulation raster. So next we have to calculate the slope raster. So let me get back to RGIS Pro. So in the geoprocessing tool, so we're going to uh, select the slope tool. So again, in the spatial analyst, uh, we're going to navigate this tool called uh, surface. And in that, uh, we're going to click this tool called slope. So this is our slope tool. So I uh, can go through the information about this particular tool. So identifies the slope, uh, the gradient of the steepness from uh, each cell of the raster. The surface parameter tool provides uh, a newer implementation and enhanced functionality. So uh, in the input raster, so in the input raster, I'm going to select uh, the fill.tiff and in the output raster, choose your folder location where you could like to save this uh, slope raster. So now I have entered as slope.tiff and I'm going to click save and choose your output measurement uh, to be the degrees and you can go through about the, each of this method for example the degree which represents the the inclination of slope uh, will be calculated in degrees and the percent rise uh, the inclination of the slope will be calculated as a percent rise also referred to as a percent slope so it basically determines the measurement units of the output slope raster so we are selected in degree and uh, leave the rest as default uh, And now leave the rest as the default and the Z factor is default as one. And we're gonna click, call, click this option called run. So now the slope has ran. So we can able to see this is our slope raster. So now we have managed to calculate our slope. And uh, however, to calculate the topographic wetness index, uh, we need to, uh, we need our slope in uh, radian. So uh, we need to convert the slope uh, into uh, degrees to to uh, radians. So now we're going to open the raster calculator. To do that, I'm going to navigate to the search section here and I'm going to enter as raster calculator. So now I'm going to click this tool called raster calculator, the spatial analysis tool. So this is a raster calculator. Let me expand. So now we need to convert the slope to a radiance. So we're going to select the slope raster. So to convert from degree to radiance, uh, you need to, uh, so to convert from uh, degree to radian, uh, you need to, to multiply the value in degree by what, uh, by the, by the pi over 180. So to do that, we're going to show you that. So now I've entered equal sign here and I'm going to select PI. And I'm going to select this particular one, PI, and I'm going to close bracket it. And I'm going to divide it by, so I'm going to divide it by 180. And I'm going to click enter. So this is the value to convert uh, degrees to radians. So you can able to see that. Let me zoom in. So I'm going to copy this particular value here. So now I'm, I'm going to navigate to RGIS Pro. So I'm going to enter a, a multiplied sign here. Double click and I'm going to paste this particular value. 
so in this way we are converting our slope uh, in degrees towards the radians so now choose your output file location where you could like to save this so we're gonna enter the name as slope radian so we're gonna click uh, save here so we're gonna click run So now we have managed to uh, convert our uh, slope raster from uh, degree to radians. So we have this raster here. So now we shall proceed towards uh, calculating our uh, TWY. So we have our uh, slope accumulation and the uh, slope and uh, slope raster in radians. So we shall proceed calculating the uh, topographic witness index. So now I'm going to clear this. So next uh, we have to calculate the tan slope, uh, tan slope radians. So now we're going to navigate this option here. I'm going to select the tan. So I, I'm going to double click. And uh, in the uh, between uh, the tan the fa tan function, I'm going to select the slope radians. Double click. So now in the output uh, file location, I could like to save as uh, tan slope radians. So now I'm going to click save and now navigate to the option called run and click run. So the cal raster calculator is running here. So raster calculator has ran here. So we have our tan slope radians. So now to calculate our uh, topographic witness index, uh, we have calculated the flow accumulation raster and also we calculated the tan slope and radians. So let us calculate the topographic witness index. So we're going to use the raster calculator again. Let me remove this. Uh, so now we have to select the natural log. So now I'm going to select the natural log, double click. And in that, I'm going to uh, click the flow accumulation raster. So we're going to double click the flow accumulation raster. And uh, we're going to divide it by uh, the tan slope in, gradi uh, in radians. So we're going to divide it by tan slope uh, radians. I'm going to click this. Now choose your output file location where you could like to save the topographic witness index. So we're going to enter as uh, topographic witness index dot tiff and going to save. So now we have entered according to our formula that is our flow accumulation natural log uh, flow accumulation divided by the tan slope and radians. So now click run to calculate the topographic witness index. So now we have managed to calculate our topographic witness index that is TWY. So now uh, we're going to navigate the symbology option. So in TWY we're going to right click and uh, select this option called symbology. So uh, in the color scheme, I'm going to select uh, a suitable color range. So I'm going to select this particular color. So now we're going to turn off other layers here. Let me turn off other layers. So now I have uh, turned off all of the layers here. So I have zoom in, in, uh, zoom in to this what a topographic witness index. So uh, here you can able to visualize the value ranges from minus uh, 0.8 to uh, 32.47, uh, positive uh, 32.47. So we can interpret uh, based on this color scheme and the value here. For example, let me show you this. So wet areas, the high TWI uh, value indicates the areas with high water accumulation and low slope such as the valley, valleys and depressions, which are often uh, wetter. The dry areas, the low TWI value corresponds to the steeper slope and uh, low water accumulation representing a drier condition. So from, the, from this value here, the blue color, which highlights the highest uh, TWI value, which indicates as the high water accumulation. So all the blue value, which indicates the high uh, water accumulation. And in case of the red value, so the lower TWI value, which indicates the, the dry areas. So which indicates the steeper slope and uh, low water accumulation. 
So you can also go through the other part of the study region. So we can able to see here. So all the blue areas which indicates the high water accumulation and all the red areas which indicates the, the low water accumulation. So now let us take a look at the application of this particular tool. So uh, this application of uh, identif uh, using the TWI, identifying the wetlands and uh, waterlogged uh, areas and modeling soil erosion, runoff and hydrological processes and supporting agricultural, uh, ecological and flood risk assessment. So in this video I have shown you how to calculate the topographic wetness, in, uh, wetness index using RGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.